Hi, good evening folks. In this video, let's take a look at JJ Paterka as he was sent down to Rochester today. Coming up. Yeah, if, uh, if anything guys, I'm sure you were as disappointed as I was when you got the news that JJ has been sent down. I was really hoping he cut this squad. I kind of get the logic why he hasn't yet. And the key word with JJ Paterka is yet. This guy is going to be on the team, guys, before we know it. So let's look at it that way. I, I don't have any, any uh, ill feelings that he was sent down because, you know, what uh, Granado pointed something out which made a lot of sense. And he said basically that JJ is going to get a lot more time down there right now a lot more ice time than he would up here. A lot of specialty te uh, team time down there than he would up here. And things like that make sense because uh, I get it. He wants him to not, it's not find himself or anything like that. He just wants him just to develop even that much better before he brings him up. Because I think the idea when you bring up JJ Paterka is he's a keeper once he's up here. Not a guy that, uh, uh, is going to go through like the AHL, NHL, AHL, NHL. You know, I think what will be, once Paterka cuts the squad, I think it's set in stone he's here for good. That's kind of how I feel about it. So the young man is going to go through a bit, of, bit more growing pains down there. It sucks because I really wanted him on this team right now. I did. Now, let's just see how we... We do without all these guys, but it, you know, I watched as the cuts went along and who got cut was right at the right time. You know, I think maybe we might've jumped the gun a little early with UPL, but I think UPL understands that he wasn't making this team yet. Not yet. He might be by the end of this season. There's no way to know yes or no. And UPL still has some developing to do down there. We, we you know, worst case scenario, we'll bring him up for a while this year, try him out, see how he's doing, and we'll see what happens then. You know, it's just too soon to just throw UPL into the net, say, here, you're going to be part of this. I really do think, you know, with the veterans we have in the nets, it's just safer. Let the kid develop, let him get better, let him be ready. Now, Paterka, I thought was the one guy, you know, Weisbach impressed me, Murray impressed me. Um, there, you know, but Paterka, a, a Quinn it looked, it looked good. He did, he did look good, but uh, I thought Paterka was the standout of the bunch. I really did. I thought Paterka was cutting the team and uh, we got a good one there, guys. We got a good, we got, you know, Murray's good. Quinn's good. Uh, Weisbach was a pleasant surprise. Really. I can't say enough about that either. These guys can all eventually get time upstairs especially Paterka. Paterka looks the most ready, for sure. And I think that we will be calling him sooner than later. You know, but right now we have to form our 23-man roster, so it's official, and we hand it into the league. And then after that, we can, we might be calling him up, guys, in two weeks. So don't think, oh my God, we're sending him down to the minors, we're never, you know, what are we, crazy? Relax. This is a political too. You know, you gotta have your roster ready, hand it in, give it establish who your roster players are, and then you can flip around after. But right now, we just got to hand it in and get it ready. So that's where we're at. And I think Paterka will be fine. I think, if anything, Rochester just got better, <laughs> you know, like for sure. And um, we're going to have, um, it's going to be a fun season. You know, we're going to have guys called up and uh, we're going to have guys that I think when they're called up are going to stay here and Paterka for sure is one of them. Quinn now is going to have to impress. And uh, there's, you know, th these are just four of the guys. I can go on and on. There's other guys too. I don't want to do that. Really, this was about Paterka, this video. And I want to personally thank him for a fun preseason. I mean, I was impressed with this kid. My God. I mean, he was just, you know, I, I was having a blast watching him. So we got some good ones, guys. We got some good ones. So let's stay calm. Let's see how the team plays. And when the time is right, I'm pretty sure these guys are going to get called up at some point. I mean, you know, I think it's a pretty much a shoe in a Paterka's a Buffalo Sabre, even though politically he has to be cut for now. Really, that's all it is. And when the time is right, he'll be, he'll definitely be a regular in our lineup. And I think so will Quinn and Weisbach potentially, 
I won't say yes with Weisbach because there's no way to know for sure his age, his size. It's hard to tell. It is. It's hard to tell, but he impressed also. So there was some really gleaming bright spots in our pipeline. Real, real gleaming. And of course, I want Murray. <laughs> I want Murray in this lineup. You know, I want to see some big boys in this lineup. So we're not easy to play against. You know, that's the motive there. So I know you guys, I'm sure the majority of you are probably a little frustrated he went down. But I don't think it's going to be long before he's up. I really, you know, I, he might go down, play a dozen to 15 games, and I think he's going to be called up. And I think next time he's called up, we go, the red tape isn't the same, and he's there, and he's just in. That's it, you know? All right, I want to make a quick video on that and give JJ a little shout out because he made, he gave us some fun memories this preseason. And guys, just imagine. Think about this, you know, think about JJ in six, seven years from now and a deep playoff run. And let's leave it at that for tonight. Okay, guys, you have a great night. I've got one more video I got to put up and I will see you in that video. See you then.